Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Time. <laughs> Good morning, frog spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh! They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles! <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs! Wow! That's amazing! Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <laughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> Really? What a fuss over such a little creature. Ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. 
Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <laughs> This one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm. They do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, flop. <laughs> there you go, froggies, a paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle. Did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Ah. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. <laughs> Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? Frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity dee da! <laughs> Today's 
adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that. Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels. Gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, dig, just pipe down a second, OK? Right, you were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. 
Below that, I'm the boss. But we can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! So old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. Okay, boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. <sighs> me too, boss. <sighs> 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 I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes. 
They'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows. This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm. Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, Strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Ah. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? Me! <laughs> Righty-ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well, as long as he behaves himself. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Hi Lucy. Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. 
<laughs> These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said, bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> Wow. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray! And hooray for the little fairies! And elves! Hooray! We greet the big from the big from the big from. We greet the big from to see some cows. Moo! We greet the big from the big from the big from. We greet the big. 
Today's adventure starts at Lucy's house. Lucy's elf and fairy party. <laughs> it's fun playing cards with you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. <laughs> Hello there. We are real. Uh, but, but we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not, Dad? There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch, here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? Do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kids' party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> The thing, real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh. 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 Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello. My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa. Quick, grab him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh. There's the birthday cake. Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish we with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to keep yeah, out of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music stops, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic. Just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! Ooh. You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practising. And now I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another. And another. And another. Tweety birds, and another. tweety birds. Oh. My birds, where did they come from? Out of your hat. Stop it, Strawberry. But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly. Ah, jelly! It's a jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood. <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Party food. We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh, I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh, no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. <laughs> He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you. Oh, now I'm stuck. Ah, uh -huh. I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck too. <gasps> Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Thistle's day off. Da da do dum da di do da 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 da. I'm going to visit my sister today. Will you be all right on your own? Yes, Mummy. I'll be okay. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. We'll be fine. Yes, darling. We'll all be fine. You'll be fine. But what about Daisy and Poppy? They need looking after. Oh, Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> but, Mummy, when you're not here, the twins are always so naughty. <laughs> magicy, magicy. Uh, yes, they can be quite a handful. <laughs> what a lot of fuss about two tiny children. Just let them play. But don't let them do any magic. Right. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And read them a story before they go to bed. Yes. yes. Very well. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Bye. 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 So what are we going to do? Mummy's the only one who can handle the twins. Don't worry. Nanny will know what to do. Um, I think I've got some important things to do in the kitchen. But Nanny... Aren't you going to help us look after the twins? I'm sure you, Ben and King Thistle can manage. Right. We just need to keep the twins busy. <laughs> I know. Let's play a game with them. It has to be something safe. What about building blocks? That can't go too wrong. OK. <laughs> Watch Daddy build a big tower. Magic me a tower and make it big. Ooh. Big, big. <gasps> Mummy said not to let the twins do magic. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It's easy to make blocks little again. Little, little. There, you see, Holly. Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy. Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. Ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly! Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> this is heavy. All together, push. Hello? 
Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. right -o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr Elf speaking. Mr Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves! Right ho! Calling all elves! Emergency at the little castle! Right ho! If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum! It's so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf. Goodness me, Mrs Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. <sighs> Who's going to help us now? It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah! Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Uh, yes. We tried our best, Mummy. But the twins really are a bit of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, they weren't that bad. It was rather fun, really. <laughs> yes. I'm sure if you went away again, Queen Thistle, we'd manage just fine. That's good, because I'm going to visit my sister again. 
next week. <gasps> no! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Planet Bong. Holly, it is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong. Oh, hello, Zyros. Nice to see you again. What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the wise old elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the great elf tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. It's Cyrus, the alien. Hello. Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien! <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed, and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories, and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot, and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with, uh, b b b magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me. A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old elf. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. All aboard! Planet Bong! We're going on holiday in a flying saucer to Planet Bong. Holiday, here we come. 
Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? Ah! Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilets? Well, what if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No. It can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Aw, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Jelly flood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. Mmm, magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We are not stuck here forever. Aren't we? No. We have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh... uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! <laughs> Nothing. More gas. OK. Whoa! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. Next stop, Planet Bomb! Hey! Hey, come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! 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 
Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2.